Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're watching this video. This is Sea Temptation coming at you again uh, with another video of Chicago Talk. Um, I wanted to begin this video by saying namaste, peace be unto you, and everybody that is watching this video. Whoo, baby, baby, I got some hot ass news to drop on you guys today. I mean, this type of uh, information I just read just a couple of seconds ago. This is hotter than fish grease. I mean, god damn. And I ain't talked about these people in a good, 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 good while. But I'm about to drop the news on y'all now, baby, because I just found this out. I said, damn. But anyway, I know I was supposed to have did a video uh, last week, but I couldn't because I had caught another migraine headache and I've been so damn busy. So I'm going to talk about these two stories today. Now, last week, um, I saw a show on Steve Wilkos. Now, I'm not, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not condemning Steve Wilkos. I like him because he does keep it real, you know, because he has a passion in terms of helping children, helping women. I applaud him for that. Now, this particular story that what I watched, though, it did not quite sit right with me. So let me explain to you what happened. Now, last week, I, you know, because I watch videos on YouTube a lot, and I saw this one uh, episode of the Steve Wilkos show. What happened was that it was a black man who was in the military. Uh, he had rescued a white man. I forgot what state that he was in, though, but he rescued this white man. You know, be doing a good deed because the white man was in the accident, so the black man, you know, rescued him and, you know, was thought that was the right thing to do as far as his being an uh, active citizen. So, Steve Wilkos, you know, he did thank them for serving the country and doing a good deed, yada, yada. That was fine and well. But the part that did not sit right with me was this. Now, Steve Wilkos had uh, decided to issue, issue this uh, black man a check for $5,000. Now, that's the part that doesn't quite sit right with me because, I mean, let's face it. I mean, $5,000, I mean, that's not really a whole lot of money. You know, and I'd be wanting to bet you, though, if the if the shoe was on the other foot, I bet you that white boy would have probably got way more money than five thousand dollars, if you feel me on that. But for some reason, you know, for him to do such a good deed like that, I think he should have got more than that. But that's just how I feel about it. You know, but that, you know, when I watched that show, I thought it was to me, it was a little bit kind of shady. So, you know, I mean, I'm not, yeah, it's a good thing he did, but I think he kind of deserved a little bit more than just $5,000 because that's not really saying too much, especially this day and age with this pandemic. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think, though, about, you know, the story about that, you know, story with Steve Wilkos. Okay, got that out the way. Now, on to the main story. Oh, but baby. Oh, but baby. Okay. Guess who I just found out about some hot information about just a few minutes ago that I haven't talked about in a long time? Miss Lori Harvey. Now, it was alleged, it was reported that her and the rapper Future were dating for quite a while and she had moved into his, uh, to his home, okay? And they have been kicking it for a while. And then Future just found out that he had fathered a child. Um, I can't think of the young lady's name, but found out that the young lady had a one-year-old little girl and he just found out just recently that according to the DNA though that Future is the father of that little girl. Okay, fine and dandy. Now, guess who else is pregnant apparently, allegedly? Miss Lori Harvey. Now, it was stated, it was alleged though that Future has multiple children. Now, I'm not sure of the other children, but to the best of my knowledge, the only uh, children that I know about is um, uh, Sierra's son, Future Junior, and this other little girl, though, that uh, I think her name is Rain, and she's a year old, though, but, I, but the rest of the kids, I'm not sure about, you know, how many other kids he has, but yeah, it's reported, though, that Lori Harvey, though, might be pregnant with Future's baby, and found out, though, that Miss Marjorie Harvey... She's highly pissed about it because it was when I read the story, it was reported though that she had so-called reprimand Lori Harvey because she was dating a rapper. 
And then this is what I want to say to Marjorie Harvey. First of all, you don't have no motherfucking business sitting up here and pointing fingers at anybody. And you got skeletons in the closet your damn self. How are you going to sit up here and tell this woman, Lori Harvey, I know that's your daughter, but let's keep it real with this. The woman is grown. You know, she's old enough to make her decisions and to date whoever she want to date. You know, if she gets pregnant, then, you know, guess what? Either you support her or you don't. Okay. So, how are you going to sit up here and point fingers at somebody and you used to be married to two drug uh, lords? Answer that question for me. I mean, come on, man. When I read that, I was like, man, get the fuck out of here with that. You know, Marjorie shouldn't have any business, though, saying anything to Lori. I mean, either she's going to support her and, and then accept the decision that she's going to be a grandmother or she's not. Plain and simple. So, um, I mean, I don't know what she's going to do and I don't know what Future's going to do. But once I get more of the story, though, we will definitely wait and see what happens, though. But, yeah, I definitely want to drop that news, though. And, uh... As far as about uh, uh, stepdaddy Steve Harvey is concerned, he don't really have too much to say about this, but he really doesn't because, you know, like I said, Lori is grown. She doesn't live in their house. You know, she lives with Future. So, you know, we'll see what happens if this um, if this information is a true. But right now it's alleged, though. I didn't see it. So, yeah, but it's alleged, though. It's reported that Lori Harvey is, is allegedly pregnant by Future. So... You know, my thing is, like I said, if those two are happy, you know, I'm like this. If they love it, I like it. I mean, she's grown. I think Lori's like 23 years of age. You know, she's grown. You know, let that girl do what she wants to do, though. If she wants to have a baby by him, then, hey, God bless her. As long as she has a happy and healthy and safe delivery, hey, that's all that matters. So, so ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about these stories with Steve Wilkos and Lori Harvey. I mean, when I read that story, I said, let me go on and drop this video real quick. And the main thing, again, I, I asked is to share and subscribe. Share and subscribe. And uh, put up the likes. You know, throw, throw up the thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you think. And um, that's pretty much it. All I got to say, though. Um, today in Chicago, it's like 60, 61 degrees. It's pretty nice outside. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I wanted to say briefly that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So, until the next video, I'm dropping the mic. Um... Like I said, guys, you know, we're still in the middle of this pandemic. So I bet I say again, please, please, please stay safe. When you go outside, make damn sure you put your mask on. Make sure that you wash your hands or if you don't have access to soap, make sure that you use hand sanitizer. And the main thing is it's very important now to keep your immune system up. I don't give a damn what those officials says in terms about those shots and those vaccines are concerned. My thing is if you keep your immune system up, take the vitamins and eat the foods that you're supposed to eat, then you will have a strong and maintain a strong immune system. So, like I said, until the next video, I bid you all peace, one love, and namaste. And you all take care, love yourself, and love your families. And I'll see you again soon.